I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want? So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class, canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said... He was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. 
they didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find some place safe for her. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. It was impossible to save him, to save them both. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay then. No. You're not taking her. Lee. I said no. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad to. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Accident. 
We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. Which way out? Through there. Leads to the other room. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. Which way out? Through there. Savannah. You might want to pinch your nose. You might want to pinch your nose. They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Oh, no. soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Just a little more. So gross. There. That should do it. I hope so. And 
think you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Don't be dead. Please, no! Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead, for sure. As fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! See? Lemon tie, honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. I 
got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! Oh. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I... I can't leave you! Let's work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You are doing good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. And don't be scared of the walker. You'll be fine. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. You're doing really good. Killing them's not easy. But you know what to do. I do. There's keys. And a gun. You're gonna need both of those. The handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Sweetie, make sure they're tight. I don't, I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll 
keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. He's trapped over there. If you can get what you need from him. The keys, and then the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? You're so close. Just get them both. I'll try. Get him! Get him! Get him! No! Watch out! Run, Clem! The bat, Clem! Get the bat! My turn, honey. If I do, it won't be good. No, you can't. You can't do that. Trust me, Clem. I don't want to. I'm trying. I'm trying. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You can leave me. It's okay. You'll be just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. Please. You can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Please. You have to go. Now. M maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. The noise, sweet pea. They already know we're in here. You don't need more of them. Just like with Larry, honey. He was going one way or another, but at that moment I couldn't do more violence. You have to be careful about that. It'll consume you. I'll go. I'll... I'll leave you. I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town, by the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> Stay away from the cities. Indefinitely. They're just not worth the risk. And also...
What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I'll miss you. Me too. The air is thin So we'll find a mountain path On down the hill Meet me where the snow melt flows It is there, my dear Where we'll begin again Skip and stone
just beyond the silence.